too fast. One local restaurant knows all about finding the right balance. Yeah, Chef uh, Banger from Balance uh, Pan Asian Grill joins us this morning in your morning Saturday kitchen. Good morning. Right. Did I get your name right? Yes. Oh, good. Okay, cool. We started off okay. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's the first guest we got the name <laughs> right on the first shot. Good to have you. And Thank it you. is just smells amazing in here. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Well, we're making calamari tom yum soup today, which is a, a classic Thai soup. Okay. And um, instead of shrimp, I'm going to be adding cal calamari to it. So. All right. We'll so, let you you walk through all this because right. so, it does look very technical. Yeah, I have a lot of ingredients. Um, first, I'm going to get the uh, the spices and the herbs, uh, which I have um, serrano peppers. Mm -hmm. Got some um, habanero. Habanero peppers. Yes, they're pretty spicy. So I got about a half of that, and then I got some lemongrass stalks. Mm. Got galangal, which is like a ginger root, but it's got a citrus uh, scent to it. Is, what is it called? Galangal. Oh, G -A -L -A -N -G -A -L. I've never heard of it. G-A-L-A-N-G-A-L. Okay. And then it's uh, kefir lime leaves, and I got some garlic. Kefir lime gonna, leaves. Boy, right. these are some unusual And I'm going to add these ingredients right now and let it kind of aromatize and get the flavor mm. out of them. What, where do you get some of the more unusual things? Um, that, uh, again, that's the first time I've heard some of them. Ingredients such as the lime leaves and the galangal and the... Um, the lemongrass, you have to go to like a specialty Asian grocery store, which okay. I got it on McCord, or you could also have um, go to a store in Woodville, actually. There's okay. a okay. couple Asian grocery stores. You can We've actually put up a list of ingredients as you've been adding them, but we're going to have the right. recipe on the website. Yeah. So pay and attention. Don't panic if you've pay had attention it. to his skills. Is it don't just me? Have you heard of some of this stuff? I mean, <laughs> you cook more than I do, Mike. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm in the kiddie pool compared to the chef here, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's always got a kick when you say Thai. Yeah, it's, a real got, it's got a great balance of sour, sweet, spice, I mean, mm -hmm. you, you name it, it's got it all. So. And it looks so pretty, even and, pre-cooked here. Yeah, and I got some parsnip right here for the veggies, got mm -hmm. some yellow squash, got leeks, got some calamari right here, and some shiitake mushrooms and fresh white mushrooms. Okay. And then these are going to go after these ingredients aromatize a little bit, I'm going to let it sit and... Get the smell out of there. God, that smells amazing. While it's doing that, I'm going to squeeze some fresh lime into the broth. I already added um, the dark soy into the uh, chicken stock right here mm -hmm. and a little bit of salt. Okay. So I'm going to add some fresh lime juice. Is everything with Thai, is that everything uh, real spicy or is it just um, a taste? No, I don't think it's really spicy, but it's more of a balance of flavors of like sweet and sour, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah, I mean, some of the dishes are spicy, but you could always up that out, you know. Okay. Yeah, squeezing the limes, is that how you got arms like this? Because I've been cooking a long time, and my arms don't look like that. And Mike, you just, he's just about uh, ready for the tattoos, right? <laughs> you guys shouldn't embarrass me in front of oh. the TV. Mel, <laughs> you kidding? You're know standing next Mel, to us. Mel my should gosh. take a jacket off, because no, you no, two no, could no, have no, a gun no. off. No. A little the problem gun is show. he cooks better. I didn't get much <laughs> cooking, I can tell you Appreciate that. Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to add the veggies. Okay. That and those are regular mushrooms. Right. And shiitake mushrooms? Shiitake mushrooms. You could actually buy these dried at an Asian grocery store okay. as well. Got some fresh parsnip. I was a little scared when you were going to pronounce the mushrooms there, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to go to the Jersey one. You know, shiitake. Kind of like saying shih tzu, right? <laughs> and, uh, oh, that's another show, right? And then <laughs> I got some calamari, and I'm going to add all the ingredients and let it saute for a little bit. We talk about this fighting, you know, being good for you and fighting cancer, you know, yeah. I and mean, that's amazing. Well, you're, well, that's getting ready there. Um, I like the um, this campaign. Yes. Mike is going to you take part because you have to have grow a mustache. Mike. No, you could be a mo sister too. A what? That's what they call it. A, a mustache. They call it the mo. <laughs> I, did you and, say mo sister? I'm yeah, sister. and I have this uh, fancy mustache going because um, to show. Um, Support a prostate Yeah, support. Cancer. Exactly. Um, go to um, movember.balancegrow.com and you mm -hmm. can actually get all the information there. It looks like you great, can sponsor someone here, Right. Too. It's a great foundation and it is. I encourage all the guys very, very to grow serious. a mustache and, you know, yeah. And support. Yeah, show the love for it, you know. Michael? I'll start. It's either that you or the should. tattoos on your arms. You should. I'm telling you, it's a I tough mean, choice. <laughs> all the fellas out there, you know, if... Don't Certainly. be jealous of my mustache. You grow one yourself, so. Don't uh, be a hater. <laughs> exactly. Oh, the smell that's right, going on. All right, now it's boiling. Awesome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch off, get the high heat on that. Well, you know we've got this high-tech cooktop, but it's, it's, at <laughs> least it works. You hear the sizzle, right? Now yep. I'm just going to add the broth. Hmm. So all, all of the ingredients one. have a lot of antioxidants in them, and it's yes, serious. No, this very, soup is very great. Good for you. Yeah, it's great for the uh, the flu season because oh, I can just it's got tell. the uh, known ingredients to um, support the immune system, such mm -hmm. as lemongrass, the lime leaves, and the uh, the galangal. The galangal. Mm. I feel like we're in some kind of. Uh, don't you feel like we're in the Shire here? <laughs> the galangal. So this is almost ready, actually. <laughs> and the presentation is everything. Yes, I love it, it. The different I'm dishes add here. A little couple of these fresh cherry tomatoes. 
on the Actually, bottom of it? Three. Mm -hmm. Because when you cook it, when you put it in there, it just gets too, um, yeah. too squishy and mushy. But it's pretty though. And I like the fresh texture of it. So. And then you've got ginger root up here while you're putting that yes, together. Yes, I, I brought the whole form. This is a lemongrass, right? If, if you've Very never neat. seen it before. Just if when you once you break into it, you I was can gonna definitely. Say, either my hands <laughs> stop Why are you standing it? over there not saying anything, right Michael? Because I'm smart, Mel. Oh, that is amazing. That smells wonderful. She so, made me go skeet shooting with her yesterday. Hmm. I'm look, I'm now, skeet by the looks of this guy, you'd like to skeet shoot, wouldn't you? I have before. Isn't it awesome? It's great. It's very a good, good stress relief, actually. It is very good stress relief. It is when you relief. don't go with Melissa, who, who, who after she <laughs> fired for the first time, she went like this. She went, oh, wasn't that great, everyone? <laughs> wasn't that great? I don't know. Oh, my God. That smells amazing. There's that. And it's so beautiful, too. Now, I'm going to garnish with some cilantro. I love my cilantro. And some scallions. There you go. And then when you're ready to eat, squeeze the lime. And then if you like the nutty, creamy texture, uh, there's a side of coconut milk as well. Really? That you wow. can actually add on to it. Hmm. It's great, that. That looks fantastic. You know, a lot that of times does. when recipes are made, they kind of look good and everything, and you know they're going to taste good, but kind of like the smell, it's like mm -hmm. you use so many oils and stuff like that. Just this just right. is like so fresh and light and smells good, and we're not covered in cooking oil. No, we're like not. Yeah, that's what I try to do. Grass. I try to minimize the fat and the, you know, the sugary mm -hmm. and all that, and just try to keep it as natural as possible. So mm. Well, if you'd like that it. recipe, we put it on our website. So. Yeah. Yes. WTL.com so slash recipes, or if you don't want to make it yourself, you can come down to the restaurant, yes. right? Come by and say hello. And say, we don't want to try to make that thing that Mike and Mel made, so just give us thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks very much, Chef. We well, have another busy night upcoming. Yeah, well, last night we had a big, big board Friday mm -hmm. of our T Sports team covering all the big right. games and stuff. Okay, you I'll, go ahead I'll just and keep read. reading. Dan Cummins yeah. will be coming back with Whoops. more of the highlights after this upcoming break. We're watching your morning Saturday. More Ooh. about that in a couple minutes. That does have a carry.